Hi, it's Dr. Clark. Thank you for joining me on this video talking about a critical issue that many people suffer with, and that is sleep problems. There's two types of sleep problems. Number one is those that have trouble getting to sleep, and number two is those that have trouble staying asleep, and they're generally caused by different reasons. We're going to talk about them a little bit here for just a second. But most of the people that have trouble getting to sleep have a brain-based problem. And what that means is their rhythms and their uh, circadian rhythm and other feedback loops are breaking down, meaning that their sleep hormones are not elevating, making them drowsy when they should, or they have trouble turning their brain off. So they can't produce enough of the neurotransmitter called GABA, which is your inhibitory transmitter, which means it makes your brain basically calm. So what happens is they just lay there and their just thoughts just keep running and running and running. That is a brain-based problem for insomnia. The second one is the one that cannot stay asleep. Now this can be a number of different reasons, but one of the biggest reasons is blood sugar problems. Blood sugar, if your blood sugar drops too low at night, what will happen is your body will have to produce glucose. And to do that, it may kick in a system of adrenaline or epinephrine, and then that wakes you up. And now you wake up in the middle of the night for no reason, and you can't go back to sleep. And you don't realize it's because your blood sugar is not regulated. The other problem that happens commonly is also GI problems or digestive problems. So in other words, you had your meal maybe uh, an hour or two before you went to bed and then you sleep for a couple hours, but then you wake up and again, you cannot understand why, but it's because your gallbladder is sluggish, your liver is sluggish, or you can't digest your food properly and so your body's having to produce energy for digestion and that wakes you up. So in order to find out which one of these is causing your sleep problems, you need to fill out a metabolic assessment form and maybe even have a blood analysis, a functional blood analysis done. And we do both of those here in our office. If you need help with these, contact me. Let me know. I'll be glad to do it for you. And until next time, live life well and God bless.